Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. As you can see from the title, it is my beauty's empties for June and July 2024. I'm sorry I'm a little bit behind with my empties videos, but yeah, my beauty entries is already up for July. So if you want to go check that out, I'll um, link it down below. And if you're new and you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, what's all these entries and empties? Well, every single month I try and come on and I share with you all the products I've got coming into my collection and those are in my beauty entries video. And then on these ones, on my empties, I record everything that is going out of my collection. So it's all the beauty products I've used up or things that I've just decluttered from my collection because I don't like them or they've expired. Or I've just changed my mind about them. And I break them into different categories. I've got hair care, skincare, body care and makeup. Um, all of those count in my inventory numbers. But then we've also got a miscellaneous section for things like tools, cotton rounds, just things like that that don't really have a use up kind of value but that I've still got coming in and going out um is that confusing <laughs> so yeah I've got a huge playlist for both this type of video and ultimately why I'm doing it is um I've been doing it for quite a while now but I was really overwhelmed with products at one point and so I started doing entries versus empties as a way of each month keeping tabs of how many things I've got coming in versus how many things I've got going out and my aim is to have more things going out each month and coming in which therefore means that overall my collection is getting smaller month by month by month and so it's just much much more manageable way of trying to tackle the massive products I've accumulated over the years of um having a beauty channel particularly in the early days when I used to buy so many beauty subscription boxes so many advent calendars in a bid to get people to try and um subscribe to my channel and watch my videos now I'm just a bit more chilled about it all <laughs> and it's less of a drama and I kind of just sort of film the content I want to film I'm not so worried about bringing new things in but I still share all the new products I get coming in so I think it's kind of nice to have a look at what I have but um yeah shall I just crack on so I've got two months worth here I normally have them in the bag but I've been selling my house so I've had them tucked away in a box because it's a bit neater um, it's a big craft box. I've just got everything sat on a little shelf here. So this is everything for the past two months. I've got a few things here which I won't be counting in my numbers, but I just bobbed them in so that I can have a chat about them. Um, so let's get started. I've got all my numbers for June and July of what came in. So we can compare and see if I've got more things going out than coming in. Um, I'll talk about the numbers at the end of the video. So right, get a cup of tea drink whatever you want i have got my protein water here this is oh it's great um so yeah i'm trying to up my protein and this is a really cool way of doing it so that's on this oh dragon fruit delicious right then let's get started the first thing i've got here is some shampoo and conditioner and these is um it's from l'oreal and sorry i've got a frog in my throat it is the L'Oreal Elviv Hydra Pure. So it's 72 hour purifying shampoo, salicylic and hyaluronic acids. It removes oils and impurities, hydrates lens. It's for oily scalp and roots and dehydrated lens. So that's that one. And then here is the matching conditioner. And this one says it rehydrates lens, no way downs, oily scalp and roots dehydrated lens so this was actually really really nice however um it did make my hair very soft very quickly but i found that i did need to wash my hair more often with it so this was definitely one that i'd maybe use just maybe every 10 days or so you know i wouldn't use it every wash but um it is lovely and if you just it says it's purifying i found it more really hydrating rather than when I think of purifying, I think of ones that are going to like sort of strip all the products and things off your hair. But um, I didn't find it like that at all. But yeah, it, it was nice, but not one of my favourites from the range. But yeah, if you've got dry hair, give it a go. It'll certainly give it a bit of a, a thing. So two products there for hair. Did that even make sense? It's really affordable. I do like the Elviv shampoo and conditioner zone. So they're very affordable. You can get them in the supermarkets like savers, hook bargains, all those sorts of places. It's super, super cheap. Um, I have got here a, I must have been using things up. I've got some Pantene 
Color Gloss Biting and Gloss Mineral Repairing Shampoo for Damaged and Color Treated Hair. And then I have got also the matching conditioner. Um, this is the color gloss one. And this was nice as well. Um, for, I preferred this to the other one. Um, the shampoo's got 400 mils in. The conditioner was 275 mils. I'd rather have more conditioner than shampoo. Although I am double shampooing now. I have done for like over a year. But yeah, I found it. It was a lovely shampoo. Again, has this one got silicon i used to find the pantone one sort of quite slippy so we've got biting gloss mineral pro v let's have a little look here it usually tells you if it doesn't contain it yeah it's got sls in it so that's why it lathers up a lot doesn't it so yeah it does have sls in there so if you're looking for one that's sls free this would not be for you um but yeah another shampoo and conditioner so hair's doing well this month I have finished off a Garnier um, Soothing 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. And um, this was mainly for removing masca mascara, like waterproof mascaras. Nivea is my favourite. This is my favourite one. Managed to find that on Amazon. Couldn't find it in the local shops. It's now back in Tesco. Um, but this is a really nice sort of um, second best for me and it's very very similar to the Nivea in that it's like a, a split one you need to shake it up to mix it with the oils and then things and it removes waterproof makeup really well if I've been doing swatches as well from unboxings and I've got like waterproof liners or liquid lips or anything that would stain it did a good job as well of removing that so it's a good way just to remove stubborn makeup and um, like makeup that's yeah that's set to be there for a long time it removes it much more gently than scrubbing away at your skin and dragging that delicate um tissue around your eyes so yeah that's a skincare item but yeah i really liked it oh, guys it's really warm today but it's blowing a gale and i'm just looking out the window at my washing on the line praying it doesn't blow away it is so windy what a beautiful day though i finished two little hand creams and they're both the same i had them in different handbags um sort of going side by side and they are absolutely gorgeous. It's a L'Occitane. It's kind of like the original ones. It kind of smells like baby lotion to me. Oh, I just love it. It is an absolutely gorgeous hand cream. I really, really do like getting the L'Occitane ones. So this one is the Creme Men, which is obviously hand cream for dry skin. It's got 20% shea butter. I would really recommend them. If you work in like healthcare or something, you're having to wash your hands, or you work in labs, kitchens anything where you're hand washing hand washing hand washing i know how hard it can be with um looking after the skin on your hands i when i used to be at work and i worked as a nurse i'd have one of these in my pocket because they're just a nice little size and then um, when i'd wash my hands and things i would try and pop a bit of this on just a little tiny bit it's all you needed and it's really good because it soaks in really well doesn't leave your hands slippy so you're able to get on with your tasks and do your bits and pieces that you need to do without having slippy hands so yeah both really gorgeous that goes into body care I'm trying to work out where i need everything finished a little hairspray it's not often that you get hairspray in these so this was a mark hill freeze hold hairspray um freeze technology cools hair after styling um providing extreme hold well i dare say it probably says cools hair after styling i don't think i think it's more to do with evaporation than anything if you get a liquid on something warm that helps evaporation which would help to cool it i don't know but um it smelled really nice not that you should be sniffing hairsprays but it was quite a nice fragrance it worked well i did it when i curled my hair i just put a little bit on afterwards just to sort of hold the style um really nice handbag size as well i got this either in a beauty box or an advent calendar or something i've had it years i am trying to get through all my part products now that i've just got a little bit in them i'm trying to take them out leave them on the side finish them up and um, yeah, it helps with the numbers and it helps with um, storage and things like that. But yeah, that was a nice little one. It's not one that I'd have normally reached for on a shelf in the shop. So um, yeah, it was nice to try it and I did enjoy it. This is one of my favourite cleansing balms. It's from Superdrug and it's the B Cleanse Melting Cleansing Balm. This is so affordable. I think it comes up at $9.99, but then they normally have like a buy one, get one free offer on. So technically they're kind of like £5 really. 
and it's very light so yeah you can, i don't know if you can see there's a tiny little bit there it reminds me very much of um the body shop the chamomile and oh what is it the one in the silver tin and it's got like the little yellow flowers i think and something else but it's like the chamomile and something like their um cleansing balm it's very much like that and i prefer it actually to the elemis ones because i find them because those ones are so perfumed i do find them slightly irritating on my eyes um, whereas that this one is absolutely brilliant. Use it as a first cleanse. It gets all your eye makeup off. Then I'll just go in and use like either a flannel or a microfiber cloth just to remove it. And it emulsifies really nicely with water as well. And it just makes your skin feel really clean and lovely. I do go in for a second cleanse with a different cleanser afterwards, but this is absolutely brilliant for getting rid of heavy makeup. If you've got your SPF on and things like that, it's good at getting rid of all of that. So yeah, I'd say give it a go. It's a real budget buy, but um, it, it does the job. Honestly, it's so good. Don't be spending loads of money on something that you're just literally rinsing down the sink. <laughs> um, if it works, give it a bash. Honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. I've got two of these little um, eye masks. Let me try and think of the name. I think I've got them in here, the box. Bear with me. Sorry to turn my back on you. It is these ones. So it's the Skin Research Anti Aging Vitamin D Hydrogel Eye Treatments. So that's them there. So I've got a couple of those, and they were really nice. They are quite thick. They are quite thick hydrogels. I'm just making sure I've not got the other one. I'm not sure if I had three or not. No. Um, so they are very thick quite heavy so you've got to just be careful they don't slide down your face a little bit it might be nice if you just laid on the bed watching some tv that could be maybe a bit better but they do stay on but i did find i'd have to keep readjusting them a little bit um i always think they do a good sort of short-term job i usually put them on if i've got like if i'm going out um or to an event or something an event that makes me sound so swanky by event i mean like a wedding or something <laughs> not like an event <laughs> but um i would put them on before i was getting ready and things and it just sort of helps to plump up the eye area put a bit extra moisture in and i do think they make the skin on your under eyes look better not this brand specifically i think all the ones i've ever tried are very much a muchness i've never found one that's outstanding over anything else so yeah i mean i'll say don't go spending the fortune on them um any recommendations so if you think anything is like head and shoulders above the rest do let me know in the comments down below but those were nice and that's another couple of skincare items i've got this in here just purely because um i'm not going to count it in my numbers because i don't count them coming in my deodorants but it was just i normally use the mitchum stick not the roll on but the actual like block which i really really like but this is so nice any of the mitchum products are absolutely lovely i'm not a massive fan of roll-ons i just think it's too faffy and they take too long to dry but this was really fresh the powder fresh fragrance is gorgeous and i just wanted to bring it on to give it like a little honorable mention because i do tend to have um i use my my stick in the mornings after showers when i get on but if i ever want like a little freshen up i'll maybe pop a little bit of this on um through the day again just to sort of freshen myself up a bit and just smell nice and feel lovely and fresh and everything but um it says it's triple odor defense why is odor written like an american odor without the u that's interesting never noticed that before but it's antiperspirant and deodorant and it's honestly beautiful so pop that here just because it's not going into my numbers but i just wanted to give it a little shout out equally i thought i'd give this a little shout out i don't normally count toothpastes in my numbers either but i, I got this one on special offer in tesco it was really reduced. I think it's normally quite expensive. And it's a Colgate Max White Ultra. And it says white teeth in three days. Guys, it actually does lighten your teeth really, really well. And it's not a purple toothpaste. It is quite, I won't say chalk, but it's quite thick. And it doesn't taste amazing. And I don't think it, it says here freshness pearls. I don't think it really did. Meh. But um, I've had nicer toothpaste. However, if you just sort of even did it in between your other um, sort of teeth cleaning sort of things, even every couple of days as a just a little boost, 
Um, it does do really, really well at lifting any stains off and brightening your smile. We have an Imperial Leather Radiant Floors and Nectar Gold Goddess Body Wash. So just a shower gel, really. Smell really, really nice really nice um i enjoyed using it i'm trying to sort of mix up my shower gels a bit now just try different ones and different fragrances but yeah this was a really really nice one it's a good travel size it's 250 mils and then yeah i really really enjoyed it did what it says skin felt clean um nice and fresh lather as well <laughs> there's not much more to say really it was a nice body wash um body body there we go I have also got oops there's hang on a minute let me just let me just sort out my little um my little boxes I'm gonna rearrange a bit there we go um so this is a dove body wash I have got some dove things which was given to me in PR but this one I bought um this is an anti-stress blue chamomile and oat milk body wash um it's 100 percent vegan um, not percent sulfate and SLES, just to let you know, especially that's particularly important for you. And it's PETA certified there. It's got your bunny. So cruelty free and vegan. And it was just a really nice one. I am really, really enjoying the Dove products. I've been using them more and more and I am so impressed. Oh, and that one just smells gorgeous. It's a blue cam chamomile and oat milk. So it's just really nourishing on your skin as well. So a really beautiful, affordable um, body wash product. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll get on to the next Dove one as well. So this one was sent to me in PR. Um, I've got another couple of fragrances to try. But I took this one on holiday with us to Bulgaria and my husband literally straight away commented about it um it is the revise it's a new range that's a 24 hour four hour renewing micro moisture so you might have seen the adverts on tv and things for this it's sort of saying them um, i think they sort of mentioned in the adverts about being able to moisturize the areas you can't get too properly or moisturize yourself so obviously when you're washing with this if it's sort of running down your back I have to say my skin is noticeably softer with this and it's not because i've got it in pr honestly absolutely gorgeous so this one is the pomegranate and hibiscus smells amazing oh, it's just it smells a bit like my dragon fruit juice actually it smells absolutely gorgeous but um the main thing about this right so two things so on holiday like my husband said wow what's that shower gel that is really really good because he says it lathers really well it cleans me really well but obviously on holiday with all our sun cream on and everything he says normally when i'm in the shower oh my door's just banging normally in the shower he says to get all that shower and um, all the sun cream off i normally get the first lot on like the little puff thing do that and then i need to add more shower gel to get it all off and um, to sort of wash my body because there's so much sun cream and stuff he says this just got it off in one go. It says, and my skin feels really nice. So coming from a bloke, that's actually something. And then this morning, he said to me, because he was just um, he was having his shower. I've like, got our own showers. And he's having his own shower. And um, in there is, for years, right? And this, I'm not joking, probably for about at least eight years, he's used like the Nivea Sensitive, like the men's one, shower gel. And he has used that forever. And he said to me this morning when he was in the shower, he says, oh, I'm just finishing my shower gel. I don't suppose you've got any more of that Dove shower gel, have you, that we had on holiday? So there you go. It must be good. It's got Glenn's seal of approval. I have got two other um, bottles of it in different fragrances. I'm just really reluctant to let him have it because I want it. <laughs> but I shall share. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of talk about that. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Give it a go. Um, this is 400 mils for that one. But this fragrance was delicious. I haven't tried the other ones yet, but I will let you know. They'll show up in future empties. But um, yeah, just really, really nice. I have finally, finally finished. I absolutely love this product. My Jekka Black Glow Drops. These are in Rose Pearl. Honestly, one of my favourite illuminating products. It just, oh, it was so glowy. Perfect shade. I did have another sh shade. Was it in Champagne? Not a fan of that one, but this is honestly one of my most favourite makeup products I've ever had. It did take a while to finish. Um, I had a bit left and it's just, it would never finish. 
but it has gone now. I wonder if I can get a tiny bit out. A little blobs come off here. And what I would often do is just I'd put my moisturizer on and my primer, then I put a bit of this all over my skin, then my foundation on the top. And honestly, it just looks so glowy, so radiant, but not like artificial or fake, just really healthy. Um, that's it there. So you can see it's quite golden, but when you rub it in, it's there's no glitter in it. It's just honestly stunning. I think I've got I've got this in a beauty box, so lots of you might have this tucked away. If you have, give it a go. It is stunning. I am. Um, I think I'm probably going to put that on my list to buy again when I eventually get down everything because this for me is a real favorite. It's going to be like one of my go tos forever. Absolutely loved it. Um, I've just put some razors in here. I don't think I count these either. Well, this will go into a miscellaneous actually. Um. So yeah, just the Miss Soleil Special Edition um, Smooth Shave. It's got vitamin E. And yeah, they were just nice little razors. Don't know why I popped them in here, but I'll put them into a miscellaneous anyway. Um, they were fine. They do um, did a nice shave. <laughs> I used this. Um, now, did I use this when I was I went to the races a couple of weeks ago? And it was the Skin Glow Glow Mask. It was a two-piece facial treatment mask. Vitamin C, turmeric, hyaluronic acid. It's got a really bad shine. Can you see there? So this was brilliant because it's got one of my hairs on. Has it got a picture of it? But basically, yeah, the mask came in two pieces. So if you struggle with face masks fitting your face, this was brilliant. So the first part of the mask did the forehead around the eyes and the nose and the cheeks and then the bottom part went over your mouth and up and round so you can just fit it a lot better overlap it if you needed to and honestly guys amazing my skin felt gorgeous after it. it felt really hydrated i felt it certainly did illuminate it as well and it was beautiful so yeah i really really enjoyed that i would recommend that so i got that in a box as well so if you've got one Give it a go. Um, what's the date on these? It says here, 2311-2021. Now that can't be expires 2021 because I've only just got it. I wonder if that's, if it was November 23. Anyway, I've used it. I'm sure I've not had it that long. Maybe I have. Anyway, I used it and it worked and it was gorgeous. So I'm not mad at that. So um, give it a go if you've got one. Do not let it go any more out of date. <laughs> I've got no idea. Okay, so here we've got some um, bath salts. These are the Made by Cooper's Vanilla Rose Bath Salt Blend. Himalayan and Epsom salts with skin nourishing vanilla, ylang ylang essential oils. Um, it's got It's vegan, Madagascan vanilla and natural. Now, are these the ones I'm thinking of? Or is that something else? Let me have a little look at... <gasps> Guys, if you've got these, don't use them. <laughs> Just don't. Or what I would do, I'd put them into a little um, bag. a Like a... Why well, can't I think of what I'm trying to say? Um, not like a chiffon bag. Well, a bit like a chiffon... What do you call them? You know what I mean, anyway. But just like a little bag. Because they were full of petals. And I didn't realize I just dumped it into my bath. And then, oh my God, can you see? It's just literally full of tiny petals, rose petals. And I put it in and they were just all over the bath. So even if you, if you got in the bath, they'd be all over you. And then I was worried about them clogging up my drain. Oh, honestly, it was just a disaster. So it was just like, no, I had to drain my bath, <laughs> clean it and then start again. So yeah, I should have just popped them into just a, you could either pop them into a muslin cloth and maybe pop a bobble around it. And that would probably be nice, but just don't dump it in your bath because it's full. So I can't really say what it was like. I feel a bit sad. But anyway, you live and you learn. And my God, I learned. So yeah, don't do that. Body. However, a tried and trusted and firm favourite on my channel. <laughs> you can't go wrong with Radox bath salts. Um, I'm not having very many baths at the minute just because it's summer. And I tend to do it more in autumn and winter. But um, I just love these so much. It's just the Muscle Soak um, selling herbal bath salts. I bet they are. It just helps relieve tired muscles. But I just, I smell it. And it just makes me want to relax. I just love them. So cheap. Cheap as chips, about a pound a box. Probably up a little bit more now with inflation and how things are going. But just beautiful. You can't go wrong with it. It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
at the rear. Um, we're getting there, guys. I'm, I've got quite a few things, actually. I'm really surprised. So next is the Michelin Peach English Growers Flora Number no. 1 Body Souffle. Um, so it's just a little body lotion. This was actually so nice. I was really surprised how nice this was. And um, let me remind myself of the smell now. Yeah, it's just, it's just like gardens and it's just lovely. And the actual body lotion itself was really, really nice. It wasn't too heavy. I did enjoy using it. And then, yeah, there we are. Sad it's gone. It's only little. Again, if you want to just sort of go away for a weekend, you need some body lotion. It's a nice little size to pack with you. It doesn't take up too much room. Um, Tesco Beauty Cotton Rounds. These are so good. They are stitched. Have I got any in here? Um, sometimes I have the odd one. I'm, I did save one in here to show on, I think, on something else. No, I haven't. They are really, really good quality ones. They've got like a stitched edge and um, sort of slight texturized and yeah, they're just really, really nice. This also got to miscellaneous, but just sort of saved it to show you. I really like them. Let me have a little drink. I so warm. Lovely. I've got here a um an eye cream. This took ages to finish. <laughs> and it is the avocado and CBD. It's a limited edition. It's from London Botanical Laboratories. And yeah, it was like a green colour. Was this one that was a green colour? Yeah, can you see? A bit weird, really, but it was fine. I've literally had to go out yesterday and buy eye cream for the first time in about eight years. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And so literally I panicked. Oh, so recommendations for eye creams, please. Because literally I was... um. I was in Aldi picking up a couple of bits and pieces in Aldi and just having a little mooch down the middle aisle. And I saw a Lacura one. So I picked that up for like $2.99. God knows what it's like. I used it for the first time today. So if um if you've got any recommendations, oh I think a few of you actually did recommend something on my last video. I think Dutch Monique, was it you, my darling, that recommended something? really really good i clearly ignored you all and i just panicked and then ended up with this <laughs> ended up with that oh my gosh i'm gonna have to go back and look at that video what was it on which video was it was it my beauty entries i don't know i was asking for help wasn't i um but yeah and same i need the um, serums as well i've literally got no serums left i've got oils and this and that but like serums like i usually use about two two or three serums at a time i'm like oh <gasps> I'm going to have to become a consumer. I don't know what to do. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I need to buy. I'm going to have to go into town and like just look at everything and make my mind up and just try. So anyway, that's finished. It was fine. I do digress. Got a little perfume sample here from Molten Brown. It was Fiery Pink Pepper. And um, this is just such a beautiful fragrance. I would consider buying this, you know. I really, really liked it. Let's see if I can squirt some air out. It's just, I just really love it. So it was tiny little sample. It was in one of my project pans. So a little mini has gone. Oh, I can still smell it. It is really lovely. So nice. Goes into body. But you have got um, another serum here. This is from Avant. And this was a hydrolyzed collagen. Lecithin. Erythritol. Retinol. Ribonucleic. So, oh, basically, it's a collagen intense radiance activator serum. And um, 30 mils. It was actually nice. These have a really high price tag. Never really sure why. But um, I enjoyed using it and it was nice. Skincare. I've got a little mascara here, which is from Boutonique Beauty. And it is the Nourishing Mascara. There ain't no nourishing going on. Is this the one I think it is that was in, oh, like... I opened it up and literally look at it. That is it. It is completely dried up. I'd never used it. So that is a a big fat no. Can't even tell you what it's like, but it's um gone. <laughs> finished, decluttered. Um I've, guys, I finished the lip gloss. I literally I'm not taking the stopper out. It is done. This was a Too Faced Funk Fetty Ultra Plush lip gloss in mocha freeze 
such a beautiful lip gloss it felt like vinyl you know so it wasn't sticky um not even it was just really lovely i wonder if i can just scrape a bit out just to show you um but it was quite sheer really pretty color and um i did enjoy that a lot but i'm calling that done and i think yeah it just kind of gone off a wee bit you know when the when the fragrance sorry let me just get some try that off my hands it just starts to smell a little bit funky but um a little bit funk fatty <laughs> but it was just stunning and you can see there come on guys there's like nothing in there it's just window 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 um really nice another eye cream excuse me and this is bondi sands eye spy brightening eye cream vitamin c green coffee beans i've got the hiccups um it's cruelty free but it was really weird because so it says eye cream but it was more like um like a liquid highlighter almost and it was pearlescent um a little bit goldy you know sort of champagne-y so they said that's how it's getting its brightening effect i don't think i'd buy it again and i didn't feel like it did anything from an eye cream point of view but if you just wanted like a little bit of like to make your eyes look a little bit more awake i suppose maybe it would help with that but I didn't really notice any great difference to be honest it was slightly disappointing um okay i've got a good old-fashioned bar of soap guys um i do enjoy a hand soap in my bathroom uh, i have it in my main bathroom just purely because when i've been doing my makeup and things like that and skincare i'll go and wash my hands and um yeah i try and use a bar of soap where i can reduce plastics and all the rest of it so yeah again just a little dove beauty cream bar i've got quite a few of these packed away i think i bought them in like a pack of four or six or something i'm trying to get through some of my other um like beauty cleansing bars that i've had as well but just sometimes you want a proper bar of soap um just really lovely i think everyone knows the dove hand soaps they're just gorgeous very very nice i have got here is a hair mask i think here we go and this is from we are paradox It's the detox restorative hair mask um i'm just trying to see if i can say anything about it it says it's vegan biotech um i can't remember if i took this on holiday with me and maybe did but i mean i really enjoy all of the we are paradox masks it's just a bit of a pain if i'm honest i know it's to reduce plastic so it's in the metal tubing but oh my god sometimes it's just a bit of a struggle and if your hands are wet and and this and that and i'm to try and squeeze from the bottom and you know first world problems <laughs> but the actual mask itself was gorgeous and i did really enjoy it do you remember when your tooth um, toothpaste used to come in metal tubes how come we've gone to plastic tubes now we've kind of gone backwards haven't we but um yeah anyway i digress it was a really nice mask i've got to say i enjoyed all of their masks i had got a little michelin peach flora number one was that the same as the um, body lotion um i didn't even notice that before and this was an eau de parfum so again a lovely fragrance however design fall in this sample in that i just got sick to death using it guys because it's just you had to like dab it dab it dab it you couldn't i wanted a little spray on it and it just, it just smells so nice i ended up decanting it into a reed diffuser <laughs> that had um run out so i just poured it in the reed diffuser and then just thought well you'll make my room smell nice instead so and that's what i did and it's how i used it up i would have preferred to have used it as a perfume but honestly i just i've not got the patience to be trying not to pour it down me especially if I'm on top of my neck and I want to be able to spray it and I couldn't so it was it just knocked me a bit <laughs> we have a tiny little cleanser so this is from fresh it's a soy face cleanser it says for all skin types high in amino acids gently gently cleanses face and eyes it's like 15 mils it was so diddy and um, I think I took it away with me used it as a second cleanse and it was fine you know it was nice nothing amazing but i can really smell that perfume now it's really strong um but i, I got it finished and so every now and again i'll just pick like a little tiny product just to try and finish it because it makes me feel better and <laughs> um, skincare where are you 
there you go. And then finally, this will just go into the miscellaneous, just some cotton buds. Yes, I am one of those people that buys cotton buds. However, they're plastic free now. The boxes are plastic free. They've got rid of the plastic lid. The, um, the actual sticks are made of paper now. And then obviously you've got the cotton tips. So yeah, plastic free, um, dermatologically tested, 100% pure cotton tips. And I just use it for things like getting rid of my eggs. If I get any mascara on my upper lid, if I get just cleaning this bit of my ear and I will clean just the entrance of my ear. I don't stick it in the canal or anything like that. Nothing smaller than your elbow in your canal. Um, but yeah, they're great and absolutely fantastic. So let me, I've got my pen here. Let me just have a really quick little jimmy up of these numbers. So I've literally just got one, two. I'm going to call that as three miscellaneous, but we don't really count the miscellaneous products. Bear with, guys. I'm so sorry, but it's just easier than editing my videos. I just don't have time for that. I'm a busy lady. One, two, three, four, five, six hair. Okay. Um, let's look at the skin. One, talk amongst yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skincare. Mm -hmm. We've got one, two, three makeup. Oh, and then body. Oh my gosh, we've got let's just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Body. Okay, let's do the maths. Let's do the maths. Lucky for you, I'm not bad at mental arithmetic. Just um, let's look at six, nine. That's so that's six and nine, fifteen, twelve and three, fifties. That's thirty. Okay. Let me just double check that. Twelve, fifteen, twenty-four, thirty. All right, then, and miscellaneous is three. So here are the numbers. Let's see how we've done. So yeah, for my beauty empties, so I've got six hair care products going out, night and skin care products going out, three makeup items going out, and 12 body care items going out. So all together, I've got a total of 30 products going out with an additional three miscellaneous items. Um, coming in, I had, um, over the two months, I had three hair care coming in. So that means I've got three, I had three more going out than coming in. I'll show you this in a minute on the screen. Um, I had six skincare products coming into my collection, six makeup items coming into my collection, and 17 body care products. So the full numbers... I had in June and July, I had 32 products coming in, but 30 oh, going out. So I've got two extra into my collection. No. Um, I had 11 miscellaneous coming in, three going out. Oh, guys, here's my little numbers. Can you see? Can you make that out? Um, never mind. I actually thought I was winning them because if you look, I had, I was winning. I had more things going out for hair products, more things going out for skincare. Makeup let me down. I've had a lot of makeup coming in. So, and then I had more body care coming in as well, 12 going out. Never mind. It's, um, there we go. At least we're all caught up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my video. It's nice just to get that done and we can start afresh. And I will try and um, be a little bit more prompt with my empties video. I know lots of you enjoy watching them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all having a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. A little um, spoiler. I've just thought, I think I might just go now. I feel like doing a bit of a declutter. I don't know, just like a random whole collection. Just grabbing a few things that I think don't want you and getting rid. I might do that, maybe. Okay, take care. I'll see you all very, very soon. Mwah! Bye for now.